have I have no issues with this quest. I hope I should have no issues with this quest. I should say, can't really guarantee it, but um, if I have issues with this quest, it'll be problematic for me as a character. Oh, that was the wrong button. That was that was not the correct choice. Oh come on, zombie! You're so dead. When the zombies don't go down, I'm like, please just die. You're you're so obviously dead. You have no arms and legs left. Please. Okay. There was a rat there. That's why I couldn't walk through. I was like, why won't it let me through? But that makes more sense. Oh, that was a turn too early. Wait. Does this refresh Mighty Swing? Oh, it prolongs the duration of Mighty Swing by a turn. Oh, this is like the best skill in the game. How come Forceful Slam is so good? Like, it's, uh, that, that skill is like, like way too good. It does everything. Like, it, it just, it does all the things I could ever want it to do. That's, that's amazing. Ooh, he stepped on a trap. Did he catch on fire? No. That's okay. He broke his leg. A broken leg is good enough. Did I hit him twice just there? Like 38 and then 40? Waiting for this to scroll through. Just 40. Okay, I don't know what I saw. Oh, it was 13. He got knocked back into the wall. I was like, why did I hit twice? But it was just the knockback damage. Just some knockback damage. And I want my energy to fight this ghost. I, don't, I won't likely need it, but just in case. Oh, and there wasn't even a ghost. And this ring is pretty good. Oh, did they make this ring better? I thought it just had con uh, the counter chance. I don't think it had con uh, control resistance on it. I think they buffed this. I could be wrong, but I feel like that's a buff. A small buff, but a buff. Not even that small of a buff, actually. It's a pretty decent buff to the ring, if, if I'm remembering it correctly. Okay, let's go. Up here, maybe? I don't. I didn't mean to attack it. When I get closer, I'll just swap to uh, open. There we go. That was a misclick. Oh, I, that was a waste of a turn as well. There we go. That's okay. Not really that big of a deal. Wasting a turn every now and then is totally fine. It's when you waste four turns in a row versus the troll. That's when it becomes a problem. Okay. Oh, again, I'll rest up. I don't think I'll need to. But just in case of a spooky ghost. Ooh. Might be good. I don't remember what this ring does. I think it's like fumble chance or something. But um, but it's blue. The blue part could be really good. Oh, he's going to hit me. Oh, and he bled me. Are you kidding me? There's like a 10% bleed chance or something on that. I feel like it's tiny. That's yeah, okay. It's not actually a big deal. I don't know why I'm complaining about it. It's not a problem at all. Okay. Ooh, let's, let's go. Two crits back to back. That was really good feeling. It was mostly critting like boxes or whatever, like, like a, a coffin, but it still felt good. Please? I, I've hit this zombie for like 500 damage. Okay, died finally. Mm, these might sell. Nah, I don't know. If I don't get any loot, I'll take them, but they, they, they're they not worth a lot. Hopefully, I will throw those down. Oh, my shoulder just cracked and it hurt. I was stretching. Like, I don't know what happened.
I do that too early all the time. I, gotta, I really need to like get in that the correct habit of doing this, like in the the, the correct order or whatever. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll go in here. The door's open. Uh, not that, please. Thank you. Just the, just the gold, thanks. Not your pelvis bone. Just the gold is all I'm here for. I'll eat some pocket ham. Getting a little low. I need some fresh pocket ham. Touch low on pocket ham. It's going to be an emergency pocket ham soon, just with the one left. One and four. Three and smack. I'll just one. I'll one and then two. Let's go. Let's go. One and then four. Okay, okay. I, I think I got the combo down. It's like one, four, three, one, two. And I'm not saying the names of the abilities, so that means nothing to anyone, essentially. But um, it means something to me. It's real to me, dang it. Anyone know the WWE fan guy? The fan of wrestling? It's an old meme, sir, but it checks out. Is he broken or is he just waiting till I get off the corpse to resurrect it? Yeah, he was just, he was waiting. He was like, we can skip turns all day, brother. I don't get hungry and you do. That's a rondel? Yeah, rondel. And I'm not gonna sell this cup. This will be my water cup. My my pour over or yeah, my pour over cup. I just want a cup of pour over coffee. I'll I'll do it in that little silver cup. Wait, does it mean if I step on a corpse and pull my boat I get free shots? Maybe. But I did it did look like when I when I stepped on the corpse, I, I, I skipped like four turns. It looked like the, the boss was ready to wait forever. Maybe if I shoot him though, it would it would like he would change his AI. Like the AI would choose a new uh, turn. I don't know. Does the AI uh, react to what you're doing at all? I gotta play range after I finish my mage run. Oh, okay. But yeah, I don't know if the AI actually like checks what you do or what it does. Like if I switch to a bow, I don't know if that interacts with the AI at all. That'd be really cool if it did. That was a turn too early. Let's go. Let's go. I'm never going to get tired of that. I'm never going to get tired of using forceful, forceful slam and killing someone with it. It's actually, like, my favorite thing in the game. Yes, they, they react differently if you have a bow. Even mages will sometimes... Oh, okay, that's cool. That is awesome. I did not know. I just assumed the AI was just on, like, a only reacting to itself and maybe like your location. I didn't know they would react to your weapon choice and stuff like that. That is cool. I like when the the, the, the AI of the games is really smart. Because then I feel even smarter when I get to beat it. I think they mentioned some AI changes in the patch notes too. Okay. I should be better about reading the patch notes. I didn't even know there was a patch. I don't remember updating my game or anything. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know. But I really should read the patch notes. There's very valuable information in them. And do, uh, do the devs, do Inkstained Games, do they give really detailed patch notes? Or do they just say, like, we changed daggers? Or is it like, this dagger has 1% extra bleed chance? Um, I'm a fan of the very specific patch notes, personally. I like when all the changes are documented exactly as they, exactly as they are. Like, when it's... Like a direct list of changes. But I'm not too passionate about that. If it's just weird, then... I have, a, I have a habit of checking my activity feed on Steam. I should get better about it. I never do. I, like, never do. I would always read the, uh, the League patch notes, League of Legends patch notes, and the Path of Exile patch notes, but that was it. Other games I never read the notes for. So I should get better about that. I really, really should. 
every single league when a new when the the you know the patch notes dropped in Path of Exile, I would control F and type Blade Vortex to see if they if they nerfed Blade Vortex again. Um, that was that was my 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 league every league uh, like ritual or whatever. Just control F, type in Blade Vortex, and see if they killed it further. That was my favorite skill in the whole game. I loved me some Blade Vortex. I played it every single league. There was never a league where I was not vortexing, blade vortexing. I don't know if anyone here has played Poe, if I'm just talking to like the wind and no one knows what I'm talking about, but but if so, that's fine too. If no one knows about Poe, I'll just ramble about things people don't understand. And sell you all the junk. Um, I guess it's just this ring. I was a Morgana support for a time. Let's go. I actually, um, Morgana's one of the only characters I have at uh, Mastery 7 in League. I play Morgana Jungle, though. I'm not a Morgana support player. I'm a dirty Morgana jungler. I don't really play anymore, but when I would play Morgana, it was in the jungle. I don't know how long ago you played Owl, but um, Morgana Jungle is a real thing. That was an annoying snare main. Let's go. Let's go. I'll just disenchant the dagger. I don't, I don't want to, like, if it's cursed, that would be bad. So I'd rather disenchant it than, wait, I picked it up. What? I thought I picked it up. Um, but I would rather have it disenchanted than identified. No, but not my ring. I want to, I want to ID the ring. So I'll sell off this and then, um, is that all I need to sell off? Yeah, this in here and then the dagger up there. And this to Bran or the, uh, the tavern. We shall see if Bran is here. Sell this and get gone. But yeah, I, I still watch uh, the League Esports. Like, their mid-season invitational, the MSI, happened not too long ago, and I watched most of it. Thought it was good fun. But I don't really play the game anymore. It's bad for my mental health. Um, whatever. I'll just, I'll just go to the second city. Wait, I'll, I'll claim the reward and then go. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The supports do carry the, the bottom lane. That is the truth. The supports are the real carry of the bottom lane. The ADCs just kind of right-click on targets that are that are, that are are presented to them by on like a silver spoon by the support. I say that, but I, I played a lot of support. I didn't... I, ADC is my least played role my whole time. I never, never liked playing uh, ADC. So... I might be a little biased, but I do definitely think the support is the carry. The support's the true carry in bottom lane. I almost paid him a thousand. It's so I paid him a thousand. I clicked the wrong button. Oh, I'm so sad right now. Okay, that's fine. We're doing it. We're doing it. Need to do some other things. Can you take me to Osbrook? Oh, he'll still do this. We're to Manshire. He'll still, he'll still do it, okay. I thought as soon as you paid him, you couldn't get the free fast travel. So that's not that bad. That's okay. I just thought I lost the free fast travel. Just losing the, um, like, just losing a thousand gold doesn't really matter. Because you lose it, like, eventually, no matter what. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. I've, I've always just assumed it insta took you to Bryn. Can you buy this from me? This vermouth? Yes, you can. Okay. But yeah, that's awesome. I totally did not know that. I should have a bet here. I bought a week-long rest or whatever. I have the danger of misclicking on Bryn. Yeah. Um, and that'll happen soon, probably. I will probably click Bryn soon. But at least it's not messed up now. I have one more misclick before it's, like, fully cursed. I have one more misclick before I've doomed myself to have to pay every time I want to fast travel. That's okay. I really, I thought I clicked the right button there too. I was even commenting. I was like, I almost misclicked. And then I did misclick. So I, I don't know what was going on with that. You sell grapes? I don't want your grapes. Give me the vegetables. I say that like grapes aren't vegetables. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give I'm still hungry? Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give At this point I should've just eaten some cheese. Fruits and veggies are actually the same thing. Um, the difference between a fruit and a vegetable is only only on a casual level. There's actually no difference between them scientifically. No? I think I'm correct on that. 
I think I'm correct on that. I reject your science. Okay. And of course, that's like only the only technically correct. People would, you know, if you went out and called a fruit or like a grape a vegetable, um, it would sound a little insane. I don't know if I want this. I, you know what? Actually, I do. I don't need the flat energy. And the fumble chance is getting like, I, I, I've i fumbled more than I want. So I'll take this over this. It's less energy, but um, less fumble chance. Or like it has negative fumble chance. So that's good. Oh, is all my gear enchanted? No, I'll enchant these boots. We're going to get crushing res on these boots. Ah, oh, dodge chance. Okay, that's better. That's actually better. I'm not sad. That's actually a great roll. I'm just always a little sad when I don't guess it right, but that is actually a good, a good, a good roll. I'll eat this, and then when I'm not satiated, I'll eat the other vegetable. I just don't like having them in my inventory. I don't like seeing them. I do have three grand. Maybe I could go to Bryn. Oh, you're not the right person. My bad. You're the kid. You're the old man. I sell this to you. I eat the vegetable in front of you. Yeah, yeah. After all that complaining I did, I'm just gonna go to Bryn. After after saying how I didn't want to do it, I'm just gonna do it. Cause I want to look for a big mace. So I was just complaining for no reason. I was just being a little baby. But what else is new? I need a quist baby emote for when I cry, for when I complain about silly stuff. I guess they have, like, Bible Thump or whatever for that, though. The crying baby face. I don't really need my own special emote. There's there's generic ones already. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Give me the note. I'll read it for EXP. And then I'll throw this down. Get yeeted. Yeah. I also don't know why that's called Bible Thump. Like, I don't, I don't get it at all. Like, I don't... What is that? Like, what? What does that have to do with Bible Thump? I, I just don't understand it. And then what's the what's the actual crying baby called? Baby rage. Yeah, yeah, that one makes sense. But I'm like, what is what is a Bible thump? It's it's like an Isaac character crying, like a Binding of Isaac character. What? I don't I don't know. It it I've never understood that emote. Bible thump. Is it a character called Bible thump? I I just I knew it was from Isaac, but I just don't. Um. I didn't understand, like, what the reference actually was. Is that just the character's name or something? Oh, that's just Isaac crying. Okay. Well, why is it called Bible Thump, then? Why isn't it called, like, Crying Isaac? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand these things. I've never played Binding of Isaac. Oh, yeah, okay. So just because of the theming of the game. That makes sense. That, that okay, okay. Isaac is crying because someone hit him with a Bible. Really? I didn't know Xbox refused to release the game on, on its religious pretext. I did not know that. Well, I'm sure they released it now. Because that game has been selling. Let me tell you, people have been buying that game. I'm sure it's on Xbox. Uh, okay. And, I, and then after this, I go talk. Mate, was this the wrong person? But I think I talked to the, the guy now either way. I'll go to the I'll go to the east though. Um, just so I can check the other shop, the general merchant. Maybe he'll have a mace, and then I'll check the uh, the Re rebirth is on Isaac is on Xbox now. Okay, let's go, let's go. Well, Xbox, I see where your morals went. The game sold 20 million copies or whatever, and you said, mm, maybe it's okay. Maybe it's okay if we have this on here. We were only morally opposed to it until it was very, very successful. Now, now it's okay. All right, I didn't expect him to have a, uh, a mace, but whatever. Big mace? Meh, no. EXP ring though. Mm -hmm -hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Are these ID scrolls? Which, are the, which of these are ID scrolls? I'll buy the ID scrolls. Never have enough of the identification scrolls. I use a absolute large amount of them. I think I said this the other day, or yesterday maybe. But I was watching a streamer, I don't want to mention their name because this is slightly negative. And they, they, they like they said they didn't identify potions because they were a waste, and I was like, What's wrong with you? You you sicken me. How could you say that? Identify every potion you come across. Um I it's just I was like, What? How could you not identify potions? 
Okay. And then this person's gonna have a mace, maybe? And the, the not that, the, uh, this one. Okay, there we go. Read this, and yeet it, and then... Can I read this for EXP, too? Yeah, cool, free EXP. No, not contracts. No, 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 what are you selling? No maces. That's okay. Kind of decent crossbow, but I'm not gonna buy it. It's only kind of decent. The pot helmet's pretty good. It's a decent upgrade, but again, I don't want it. Remember when I proposed the drink the potions you find challenge? Yes, I'm not doing that. I will not do that. I will I will identify and then drink, maybe. But I'm not I'm not drinking blind potions. I've, I drink enough potions I don't mean to already. But I was talking about this the other day, Real. I don't think you were here. Um after I complete my goal of killing both the bosses on, on permadeath, which will happen with this character, of course, so it's going to happen soon, I don't know what I'm going to, like, do. I thought about maybe trying to 100% the game, but um, I'll, I realized uh, shortly afterwards a lot of the achievements are insane, and I don't want to do those. But, oh, and I need this stuff. Oh, this person had three wines. I'll just buy three wines. Let's go. Um, if you do have any actual challenge run suggestions, because after I do this, um, which will be a while, I want to, I want to, like, have some spicy new content for Stone Shard. Because once I complete my goal here, I'm not done with Stone Shard. I'm going to keep playing. And I know I can steal one. I just don't want to risk it. I just want to, I just want to do it correct or whatever. Just buy three. Um, but I would, I would love some actual challenge ideas. Um. And I say actual. Drinking the potion, every potion you find, would be a challenge. But um, but I'd love some. If anyone has any cool ideas for for stuff like that, I'd I'd love to think about them. I'd, I'd I would toss them around in my brain. Uh, pardon the interruption, but I wanna I wanna give you obvious flattery. I wanna tell you you're amazing, and then. Wait, did I already mess this up? I messed this up. I do this every time. I literally do this every time. Okay, whatever. I just spam every time. I'm so bad at that. Okay, I have the two wines that I need for the to drink when I kill the bosses. Those will be celebration wines. I said this at the start of the streams. Spamming gets me in so much trouble in this game, and I keep spamming. I, I need to learn to, like, control myself. I do that literally every time. It's, like, it's so bad. Second monitor for half of a moment. We're back. We're back. We're free. Dobby is a free elf. I'm on the first monitor again. But, yeah, I, I really need to... I've messed that up, like, every time. I've never done it correctly, and I've bought three wines, like, every time. I pre-buy the wine, and then I go and mess it up. So I really got to get better about that. It's just a waste of money. Look at that guy just chugging his beer while he's working. What a legend. Read all the text carefully and complete through to mid-game without messing up. Okay, okay. That's a challenge I will accept. Maybe. I actually probably... Ooh, what is this? Okay. I probably won't, though. I, will I won't read all the text still. So much money. I'm not even going to be able to afford a mace now. I've wasted so much money. Where's the ink pot? I thought it was always here. I thought it was... Oh, it is here. I was like, what? Yeah, that was a huge waste. Rip. Rip to me in my coin purse. It's okay. It's done now, at least. You know, I won't have to do it in the future. I'll go over here. I'll go this way. And it should be, like, the perfect time. He shouldn't be asleep by the time I get back, but he'll be upstairs. So I can at least look and see if there's a new mace there. Um, not that I'm unhappy with my mace. I was really stoked to get this mace, but, you know, always, always want to spend my money in game. No reason holding on to thousands of gold and dying with it. Many of my characters have died with like 10 grand in their pocket, so I really try to spend all the money I have. I'll go in here. And it's like maybe a little close to night time. Like maybe, maybe we're, we're close to night time. I was stretching. I was far away from my mic just now. Sorry about that. But um, he shouldn't be asleep yet. Looks like we're fine. Let's go. Don't trade with me. 
Well, I've already seen this weapon, good sir. I was looking for a new weapon. I don't want to use the flails, though. Oh, he does have a... It's literally right here. I was like, there's a real mace, like, right next to it. Okay. Yeah, and this is a great weapon. I would, I would happily have this. Um... That's a, that's a lot of increase. And it's six accuracy, too. Yeah. Okay. So it's like four grand, 4.2. Okay. 4,258 gold. I can get that. I can earn that and come back in the future. And he might not have it in the future, but now I just know the, the general cost of a mace would be. So we'll go back to questing. I'm going to do another tier two. I said I was going to get to level eight, but... I think this will be enough. The, the beginning of that tier 2 dungeon was just rough. The double dog and right away and everything was just a little rough, so... I don't expect I'll come across that again. I'm confident in myself. I feel confident. I won't let you down, Fire Raft. This character will live for three days. At least I hope so. That's the goal. Okay. Do I have water? No, not really. Not at all. Oh, I, I have to do the quest. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. Oh, I need to get rid of all this junk. Uh, no, I don't. I was going to say I'm done with that, but I'm not. That's totally a lie. I'll throw it uh, back inside. I'll throw it down uh, by the people. By the bailiffs or whatever they're called. Okay. And Varen doesn't care what time of day it is for this quest, I don't think. Just like the when you could fast travel through him, he's just there permanently. I could be wrong about that, but I think uh I think Varen's okay with like whatever. He's down to party at any time of day. So I'm just gonna throw this in here. Uh, and I'll remember I put the note down here. I like the little, like, the flavor text on that note. It, like, referred to you. It said you pass into the world. Like, it was like, like I don't know, it referred to your character directly. I thought that was cool. Oh, I thought I had to go south more. I don't know, a little, little bit of broken brain right there. I was like, what? I can't go south? We've been streaming for like an hour and a half. It's time for the brain to start breaking down. That's okay. I'll fuel up off a sandwich at lunch and the brain will, will have more power for the second half of the stream. So I'll just go do Varen's quest and then we'll go back to the second city and I will not die. I will do the quests without dying. Yeah, and I'll level up in the dungeon, too. 1,000 EXP is not that much. And don't you get EXP for this quest? You get, like, a fair bit for going into, um... Gwynnel's house? I was gonna say her house, but is Gwynnel even a lady? I've always assumed Gwynnel's a lady. I know they're, like, the blue elf that, like, you see with Varen, but... It's right here. I don't know if they're actually a woman. I've just, always, again, always assumed they are. He! Okay, Gwynnel's totally a dude. Gw Gwinnell's a man. That's my bad. Sorry, Gwinnell. I miss I miss I misidentified you this whole time. I'm just being racist, getting the, the identities of elves wrong live on stream. That's that's not great. No, but I just I just never knew. I just always thought Gwinnell was a lady. Uh read this and then we should be good to go. Is that everything right? No? What? Oh, it's this book. I always forget. I forget about the book. Okay. We're in. We're in, boys. Go in the secret room. Go, go, go. Ooh, and a little, a little side, side note or whatever about Rim World. I'm gonna start naming my my colonists after viewers. 
if you would like. So, if if you if you stick around for the Rimworld today, you could make your way into the game. You can you can be part of the game itself. Lots of lore here. I'm skipping right through all of it. Okay, we're good to go. Like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.